Improving patient safety is at the top of pressing health care issues in the United States. In South Carolina, hospitals have embraced national efforts led by the Institute for Health Care Improvement, and in 2007, the state launched its own initiative, Every Patient Counts, to continue the work. From the low country to the upstate, health care experts are focusing on new standards to improve care and save lives. They're looking for ways to generate lasting change and create the safest and best hospitals in the United States. At the South Carolina Hospital Association in Columbia, Dr. Rick Foster serves as Senior Vice President for Quality and Patient Safety. Collaboration, he says, has led to measurable results in less time. Um, as a family physician, I looked at the whole patient, the whole family, and how they work together as a unit um, to, to, to provide care. And just translating that into more into the setting that I'm in now by, by trying to work across hospitals and other health care uh, organizations to look at the, the whole process and how we can work together almost like a family unit to improve the quality and safety of care. And we really are seeing the results of that in the fact that we are able to make changes much more quickly than we've ever been able to make before. And I'm confident to say that the care uh, in South Carolina is safer and better today than it was yesterday than it was six months ago or two years ago. Dr. Foster says that part of the effort includes more transparency on how hospitals are performing. In 2008, the South Carolina Hospital Association launched a website, www.myschospital.org, with user-friendly information. All acute care and critical access hospitals in the state have voluntarily agreed to submit data. The Hospital Association also established a quality council that brings together clinicians, health care administrators, and lay board members. The council includes patient advocate Helen Haskell, whose 15-year-old son, Louis Blackman, died in a Charleston hospital in 2000 after complications from surgery went untreated. Helen spoke about her son at the first South Carolina Patient Safety Symposium in 2008, a spring gathering that drew more than 300 people. The symposium's sponsors included Health Sciences South Carolina, a biomedical collaborative between leading South Carolina hospital systems and three of the state's most research-intense universities. The Duke Endowment, has awarded a multi-year $21 million grant to Health Sciences South Carolina to support operational and information technology infrastructure and establish the Center for Healthcare Quality and the Center for Clinical Effectiveness and Patient Safety. Dr. Jay Moskowitz, the organization's president and CEO, says the Center for Clinical Effectiveness and Patient Safety includes a state-of-the-art network of patient simulation centers where healthcare workers can use mannequins to practice procedures and rapid response. Baby deliveries can be simulated with or without complications. Injections can be administered. There is no other state in this country, probably there's no other region in the world, that has a sophisticated, comprehensive, coordinated simulation program as we do in, in South Carolina. This is a, a true boom for patient safety because you're not using anyone for your first time. You're actually using a mannequin. The network's director, Dr. John Schaefer, holds the Lewis Blackman Endowed Chair of Patient Safety. At each of the seven centers, a plaque will hang in Lewis's honor.